Hi, I'm Victoria from Zero Design. There is a huge news from Adobe, because Photoshop just released a crazy new feature called Nano Banana. It's actually powered by Google Gemini 2.5, and it takes Photoshop AI 2 to the whole new level. And today, I will show you how I, as an interior designer, use it in my actual projects. Right now, Nano Banana available only in Photoshop beta version, and it's totally free. But from October 28, it might start using some generative credits, so check it out while you can. And let's get into it. So you have to download Photoshop a beta version. And today I'm gonna work with this image. I generated this image in Midjourney, and now I want to improve it in Photoshop. Initially, I want to change this table lamp. I tried to go just with the moves lamp, and it didn't give me good results. So I extended this prompt, but initially you can try just with simple prompt like remove this chair, remove this glass, or whatever. Good, it leaves some light from the lamp, but it's okay because anyway I'm gonna put some another lamp there. So I didn't mention it before, but if you want to use Nana Banana, you have to press here. We have here different models. Firefly is Adobe's model. Uh, and Flux Context Pro, it's for, for the text, it works very good with the text. And here we have Gemini 2.5 Nano Banana, and I'm gonna choose this one. And for example, if you want to remove this thing, usually Nano Banana work good with it, but in this particular case, I would use Firefly. Why? Because, uh, first of all, usually Nano Banana moves an image a bit, yeah? Second, the quality become worse and with Firefly there is no such thing. Next I want to insert the lamp. I'm just gonna press remove background but oh, okay it's good that it happened because sometimes it happens very rarely but sometimes. In this case it's better to close Photoshop and then open it again and everything should work well. Yeah, for example, here you see everything worked well. And I'm gonna move the image here. And here, here's a new feature. It's called Harmonize. So I'm gonna choose this. And it worked perfectly. Very good. The only thing, I want to add some lightning from the lamp and I'm gonna do this with uh, another prompt. Let's try run it again. Super! Great, I like it. And uh, the next thing, I want to add some nice book. So, put a nice book in Arch Daily style. Okay, I'm gonna try a few variations. Mm -hmm. I like this one. For example, let's try here with Firefly, just to compare. In this case, yeah, it's better to go with Nana Banana. Next, let's put some another book. And I want to change the title to Zori Design. Yeah, let's try to work with, uh, with the text. So first I'm gonna try Flex Context Pro and it worked good. But actually, yeah, Nana Banana also worked good. But sometimes uh, Nana Banana don't work with text. So in this case, it's better to go with Flex Context. 
Again, in this case, it's better to use Firefly because you see, uh, when I tried on the banana, it worked, but it moved the image, yeah? It moved the image and the quality became worse. So what I'm gonna do is just use Firefly. Here I want to add additional shelf on the top and I tried different prompt, I tried many times and it just didn't work. So yeah, sometimes it happens, sometimes uh, sometimes uh, nano banana don't work. So in this case it was easier for me to do it manually, I just copied the shelf and that's it. Next, I want to change the fabric of the sofa. And unfortunately, in official Photoshop Nano Banana version, you can't attach image to the prompt. So I found it easier to do this using Nano Banana plugin for Photoshop. But don't worry, I will show you both ways. I will show you how to change fabric using only Photoshop better version. But let's start with the easiest way. Let's do it using Nano Banana plugin for Photoshop. And I type just change fabric of the sofa to the one on the reference. And for example, this fabric. Good. Okay, and uh, for this spoof, I'm just gonna use another prompt. And in the end, as you can see, I have different fabric variations, yeah, I have few options and I made it pretty fast and uh, for clients this is worth enough, yeah, just to show the concept, just to show how the fabric gonna look on the sofa, uh, this is more than enough. For example, yeah, here is like, first fabric worked perfectly second fabric not super nice because uh, stitches don't match as you can see here but you can run just few variation and it should work this fabric it also worked very nice and uh, like the pattern is pretty complicated but it worked perfect the only thing is the scale in this case if you want to make the scale smaller yeah you should go to the image of the texture you should scale it and after that to put it into banana banana yeah it's just easier this fabrics it also worked nice yeah so as you can see it's more than enough to show the client's idea to show the client how the fabric gonna look on the sofa it's really nice it's super fast i love it really i love it and i think uh, everyone should use it Next, what I want to do, I want to expand an image, yeah? So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna choose crop, then choose firefly model, and just press generate. And as you can see, it worked pretty well, yeah? Here, I also find it useful because uh, I can change the warmth of the light and i would say i use it pretty often because uh, because it works really nicely you see if you want your lightning to be warmer or you want it to be less saturated it works really nice and it looks really naturally uh, next what i wanted to show you it's uh, how to change the fabric inside photoshop better so in this way you have to be very specific uh, there is like different ways but i i think this one works the best so i just gonna put uh, an image of the material on the side uh, i'm gonna circle it in red and i'm gonna circle the sofa in blue and i tell i gonna tell specifically that 
I want the fabric of the sofa which is circled in blue to be changed to the fabric which is circled in red. Okay, let's try another generation and... Right, as you can see, like, only two generation and it worked really nice. The only thing is, is uh, the pillow, but it's okay because uh, you can remove it easily. So, what do you think of Nana Banana? I found it incredibly useful. And it makes my work so much easier and so much faster. I love it. <laughs> if you found this video helpful, click this like button below. Drop off your thoughts in the comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'll keep exploring the eye and showing how they fit into a real interior design workflow. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more.